Hi everybody, it's Nice Slices here again, but with another short review. One of the nice I own, one of the nice out of my collection. Except today, once again, this one does not belong to me. It's been loaned to me uh, by one of my subscribers for review, which I'm most grateful for. And today we're looking at the Two Sun TS252 in Snakewood with Damascus. This is a, a slip joint pen knife, uh, UK legal, cutting edge under three inch, absolutely beautiful piece of work. That snake hood, when, once you get it in the right light, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. It, it, it's hard to, it's hard to actually show you without the correct lighting, but it is nice. As you can see, it's got uh, brass bolsters, brass pins, a brass lanyard tube. A little bit of gap in there on the back in the closed position. More or less spot on is the, uh, the blade centering. Nice looking knife. Let's have a look at the, the blade. Look at that stunning drop point. Damascus blade. I think that really is pretty Damascus that. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. In the open position as you can see. The gap in has gone more or less. Good looking knife, really do like this. Um, I think it's around about £50 at the moment, although I just checked on AliExpress before I done this and the snake hood one isn't available, but you can get this with nickel silver bolsters and um, an ox horn handle, which does look quite nice. It's like a smoky grey colour uh, with the same, same Damascus blade. Sharpness, like any other two, some. Yep, shit up. Sharp out at box. Got a nice sharpening chawl there. Uh, I won't call it a finger chawl, though. You could put your finger in it, but... It's a slip joint, like I say. It's, it's got walk and talk. Snaps down with a bit of authority. Not a bad pull on it at all. Yeah. Two some again at the... Two some nice man, the quality. I know they're made in China and a lot of people are down on China. I don't give a shit. If the knife's good, the knife's good. There's some cracking knives come out of China. And two some to me are very, very, very underrated. Although a couple of years ago when I first started collecting knives, two sons were a lot cheaper than they are now. Um they've definitely gone up in price. The the they've recognised that they are uh, selling well and they've they've hike the prices up accordingly which is a damn shame but I suppose that's uh, that's business for you this is what I'd call a Sunday carry knife very nice it'd be nice to have a little put it in a nice little leather slip um, like I say there's no there's no pocket clip or anything like that on it but there is the uh, the lanyard hole so if you want to put a lanyard in you can do not bad at all, not bad at all. Right, let's see what we've got for some size comparisons then. Oh, excuse me. So we've got the uh, the Benchmade proper. Line it up, pivot to pivot. And... Tiny, tiny, tiny little bit smaller, I'd say, maybe. Um, hinder a slippy. It's a lot smaller than that bad boy. That's my favourite carry at the moment. It's not really been out of my pocket. But this, uh, this isn't about that one. So yeah, for, for around £50, you can get a beautiful looking... Uh, Beautiful looking gentleman's carry. If you like Damascus, 
I think that's really, really pretty steel, that. I've got a couple of Damascus knives now, but I think that one is actually quite pretty. And the uh, the snake would hang. I, I might actually see if I can get the ox bone one, because I do like the look of that, the ox horn one. Um, I do like the look of that, although this cherry wood's gorgeous, and there's no... The transition between the bolsters... Uh, where the pins come through, it, it's so smooth. Maybe on this side you can just feel a little tiny bit there, but on that side it's it's so smooth, it's unbelievable. Especially for the money, man. The, the quality, I think they're outstanding. I really do. So there you go, guys. That's my short review on another cracking knife from um, Tucson. The Tucson TS252. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please smash that like button. If you haven't enjoyed it, hit the dislike. It's all fair in love and war. Um, thanks to all my, my subscribers for sticking with me. I love you all to bits. Um, I hope to see you all again. And until next time, bye-bye.